Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and today's video is going to be a 16 month progression of Bella and I's journey together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed to the channel, it would make my day. So please subscribe. Bye guys. <laughs> So I first tried Bell at the end of 2017. This is a video clip from that day. Then we brought her home and at my old barn all I would do was set out trot poles and then do one, possibly two jumps because the indoor arena at that barn was very, very small. So these are just two clips from what I used to do for two months. Then I started taking lessons from the trainer that I'm at now, if you recognize the arena, and we just did a lot of simple stuff. I'd only come like every other week, so it wasn't very consistent training, but I started to fall in love with the barn, the people, and most of all my trainer. So after I'd say a handful of lessons, we decided that we wanted to move, and we officially moved in May 2018, but these are all clips from before then. This was March 10th, that's Bella's birthday and I remember she got clipped on her birthday <laughs> and then here we have officially moved and here we go and gymnastics was my first jumping lesson when of being an official boarder of the barn and then here this was the first time I rode in the bit that she is currently in I love that bit it has given me a lot more control, but it's also a bit that has taught me a lot about having soft hands. And then this was a show prep lesson before my first show when I did the 2-6. I was going to include that video, but I can't find it. This was a gymnastic jumping 3-3, which was a milestone height at that point. And then here's me doing it again 3-3, and this was only a couple of days afterwards. My position's all whack. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit of improvements in my position as well. This is from that same day. We really struggled with end jumps, so we did a lot of practice with those, like, all the time. Because she used to run out on them, because she just didn't know what she was doing. Then I was gone for a month on vacation, and I came back towards the end of July, and this was my first jumping lesson back. Believe me when I tell you, she was a completely different horse when I came back in the best way possible. And then here, it was officially August. I did a little mini clinic with my trainer. We did some tight jumps and turns. And at this point, Bella and I were finally really starting to get each other. And this was probably a very big milestone in our relationship. Now, this was probably the highest course I'd done at this point. I don't remember what height it was. I think it was all like about a meter. Some a little bigger, some a little smaller. And then this was the very end of August, which was also a big milestone, and it was my first four-foot jump. Bella, like, stepped over it. <laughs> um, and then here was my first four-foot jump in a line. Although it was a ground pull, but, you know. And then this was also a milestone, the highest I've jumped at a show so far. It was a 3-6 joker jump. And then this is... I don't know what this video is <laughs> just showing you how much calmer she's gotten. I don't really have clips from when she used to be crazy because I deleted them all because I was embarrassed, which sucks now because I would have loved to show you the, you know, progression, but don't have those. Um, but she has been getting so much calmer at this point. This was in October. This is my favorite flatting video that I have because she's so good in both the downward transition and in the forward transition. We're still working on our transitions, but this is a really, really awesome video. Her mouth is open, she's pulling a little bit, but you know, if you look from afar, you can't really tell. <laughs> and this was also in October. This was the highest course I'd done at that point. The highest jump, I believe, was about 3.9. I actually fell off that day, but you know, I got back on and I did this, so go me. <laughs> then here's another gymnastic with a bigger end jump. We did a lot of these just to work on my position as well. And then this lesson, I still remember I use it a lot in my edits, if you are following my Instagram. Um, just, I don't know why, I just think I really like the way Bella jumped these jumps, I guess. But this was, I believe, in December or November. And then this was another line with a bigger jump at the end. And then this was the highest course that I jumped. It was about 3.9. It looks bigger because it's in the indoor, but I believe it was like 3.6, 3.9. And here's three of the jumps from that. She jumped it wonderfully. 
And then this was a clinic we did. This was the middle of December. And you can kind of see the parts of the course here that I've included. She was absolutely phenomenal that day. I remember being so nervous for no reason because it was at our, at our barn with my trainer, but super duper nervous, but she was really good. And then this was the first day of January. This was my anniversary with Bella. We'd officially had Bella for a year. We had this lesson that was really, really awesome and fun. And I learned a lot from it. And there's, these are still clips from that course. Then here was a few weeks later was another bigger gymnastic. She was absolutely phenomenal. And then here is my shining moment <laughs> when I went to World Equestrian Center in March. This has been the biggest goal that I had set for myself. This edit, by the way, you can find on my Instagram. I just took the sound out because it shows all of the highlights. So there you go. <laughs> but World Equestrian Center was a goal for me for the longest time. And I was super, super excited that I got to go. Although, was I super happy with how I rode? No, but... I learned a lot from that experience and I was able to go back in May, which was last week's video. If you haven't watched it, I recommend watching it. Um, <laughs> but I went back and we did a lot better. So, you know, and I still got some really awesome memories and I learned so many lessons and we went back after this show and we kind of tweaked all of the issues we had. And then after that, we've had some really awesome rounds. So this was a few weeks after World Equestrian Center, her first time jumping bigger ever since the show. And this was our first time riding outside. This was in April. And then this was an awesome gymnastic because she jumped that last jump so well. And then this was the highest course I've done so far. It was a 3.6 to about 4.2. I got jumped loose there, but you know. So yeah, it was a 3.6 to about 4.2 course and it was absolutely awesome to jump. Super fun, shout out to Jamie for letting me jump that high. And then here's another Jamie lesson I had um, where we also jumped quite big. It was like four, two, I believe again. And then this was a technical lesson. I am absolutely obsessed with technical lessons, whether it's flat work or it's jumping. I just find them to be so much more challenging. I love them. And also I'm not ripping my horse's legs to pieces, which I also really like about technical lessons. And I feel as though my connection with Bella is always so much stronger after them, even though they're hard during the actual lesson, like this turn that's coming up. Ooh, we had to do that many times before I got it. That's for sure. But I don't know. Something about them. They're just my favorite. So I made sure to include one of my technical lesson courses in here so you guys could see it because they're my absolute favorite. <laughs> and then here is the last clip you're going to see. This was a course we did before my second to last show that I did. That vlog will be linked in the description as well as my World Question vlog because those are the last two video clips that I have but I thoroughly analyzed those in voiceover on in those videos so I just recommend watching those videos because then I don't have to revoice them over again and repeat myself. All right you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you'd like to see me on a more daily basis my Instagram will be linked down below and if you'd like to see my last two show vlogs which have the most recent footage of Bill and I they will be linked down below as well. Bye guys.